I'm very um, honored to um, to have asked the question, and um, thank you very much. In June of this year, uh, my dad passed away, um, and um, um, and we uh, we installed a memorial tree and a memorial bench in the honor of my dad um, <clears throat> to help for my grieving um, mom. Um, my dad was cremated and um, at the time we didn't know quite what to do with his ashes. And uh, recently my mom wanted to uh, bury his ashes to a uh, cemetery. So I asked, I sent out an email to all my siblings if they would like to share the cost of the uh, cremation uh, of the burial and all of our four, four uh, siblings are financially stable. And one of my sister, um, she got angry, upset and said, we did the memorial tree, we did the, the bench. Why do we have to do share the burial cost? And this seems like endless cost. And this is very burden on me. Like in Korean, she said, Pudam. And I said, um, well, if you feel that way, then you don't have to. Um, there was a tension in the conversation and since then, um, she has not contacted my mom or called her. Uh, called my mom <laughs> is grieving. So currently, I am a student of Changto Kurgyo Tehak, uh, Changto Buddhist School College, and I've learned what you said about knowing the truth. And the truth is that my sister and I are different. I have found some peace in that, but there are some days that I don't have peace. So it's like a seesaw. Someday I have peace and some days I'm, I'm angry and sad. So I ask for your guidance in having peace in my heart. Yeah. Why are you um, angry? My parents deserve okay. more and I feel she's not being um being giving like giving to our parents. Uh. 우리가 자녀를 양육하는 것이 보상을 받기 위해서 합니까? Do we raise our children to be compensated for? No. 음 근데 왜 부모님에게 충분히 베풀지 않았다고 생각합니까? Then why do you feel your sister has not done enough to your parents? I feel for the burial cost, it is. Uh, children's duty to do that and not only the duty that it should be willing that's that's my perception that should be willing 네 그러면 나무를 신고 벤치를 설치하기 전에 몇부터 먼저 쓰지 왜 그걸 먼저 했습니까? Then why should you plant the tree and the memorial bench first before uh, burying your father's ashes? Uh, we didn't know at that time there was that option. Uh, they were saying um, only scattering to the ocean. And my mom wasn't comfortable with that. And um, like in Korea, there I heard there are trees where you could do that. And we don't have that here in Canada. And we recently learned that we could do a burial. Mm-hmm. 자녀가 듣지 않았다고 해서 왜 그게 자녀의 책임입니까? So why is it your sister's responsibility uh, to listen to your mother's additional request?
Yeah, I guess it's not her responsibility. Uh, 나라마다 또는 종교마다 또 종족마다 이 장례 문화가 다릅니다. So every country, every tribe, every ethnicity, every culture have you know different culture of mourning. 어 uh, 이럴 때 어떤 것이 에, 에, 어떤 우리가 어, 합당한 것인가 하는 것을 찾기가 어렵습니다. So it's very difficult to find what's reasonable among all these. 어, 문화가 서로 다르다는 것은 이 의식이 서로 다르다는 거예요. 즉 정신적인 문제죠. So it's a mental issue. 어, 그럴 때 우리가 어떤 공통점을 발견하려면 어떤 자연 생태계를 살펴봐야 합니다. So across the different construct, mental construct, if you want to find the common threads, you have to almost look to nature. 어, 그럴 때 자연 동물들이 어떻습니까? And see how the nature behaves, animals behave. 만약에 새끼를 낳는다면 어미는 그 새끼를 보호합니다. If they're very young, they protect the young. 어, 목숨을 바쳐서라도 보호하려고 합니다. And they're willing to sacrifice even their lives to protect the young. 모든 생명은 자기 생명을 가장 소중하게 여깁니다. You know, all lives regard their own lives as the most important. 그런데 새끼를 낳은 어미는 자기 생명보다 새끼 생명을 더 소중하게 여깁니다. However, the mother that bore young considers that young's life uh, more important than her own. 어, 이것은 새끼를 낳게 된 어미에게는 저절로 일어나는 현상입니다. It's a kind of an automatic natural phenomenon that happens that occurs to a mother that has born a young. 어, 이것을 우리는 생물학적으로 종족 보존의 본능이라고 합니다. It's, uh, we call this the survival uh, instinct. 어, 만약에 이런 본능이 없다면 그 종이 지속적으로 유지될 수가 없습니다. Because without such survival instinct of the individual members of that species, the whole species as a whole will not survive. 어, 하나의 종이 지속적으로 유지하려면 모든 생명은 자기 생명을 보존할 그런 본능이 있고 두 번째는 새끼를 낳았을 때 일정한 기간 새끼가 자립할 때까지 새끼를 보호할 그런 본능이 있습니다. So for a species to survive, all individual members of that species has this instinct to survive, protect their own, as well as when they bear a young, protect the young for a certain period of time. 그런데 새끼가 커서 자립을 할수 있으면 이 어미에게는 새끼를 보호할 본능이 없어져 버립니다. But when the young grows up to be an adult, to be independent, autonomous. Then that instinct to protect that young disappears. 어 근데 어미가 늙어서 죽게 돼도 새끼가 그 어미를 늙은 어미를 보호하는 본능은 없습니다. However, there's no instinct that compels the young, when it's all grown up, to go back and protect and care for uh, the mother who is old and feeble. 어 아무리 늙어도 그것은 어. 어, 보호받아야 할 그런 생명의 입장에서는 보호받아야 될게 아니라 자기 생명은 자기가 지켜야 합니다. So from a life perspective, no matter how old and feeble you are, you're responsible for your own life. 이 사람은 이런 생명의 본능과 그리고 우리 정신적인 그거와 추가되는 어떤 정신적인 문화의 작용이 있습니다. However, in human beings, we build upon this. You know, instinct, uh, a certain mental construct that drives our culture. 그래서 우리가 생명의 입장에서 볼 때는 어린 자녀를 보호하는 것은 부모의 책임이지만은 늙은 부모를 모시는 것은 
어, 책임은 아닙니다. So from a life baseline perspective, it is our responsibility to take care of our young. However, it is not our responsibility to take care of the old. 그러나 우리들의 정신 작용은 어, 때로는 남도 보살피고 늙은 부모도 보살피고 어, 또 이렇게 동물과는 조금 다른 그런 성격을 갖기도 합니다. However, we're not the same as animals, right? So we have a certain mental construct that allows us to take care of strangers uh, in, in addition to our own parents. 또 반대로 어, 다른 생명을 해치기도 합니다. But at the same time, we also may choose to harm others. 그러니까 이것은 생명의 작용이라기보다는 우리들의 정신적 작용입니다. So this behavior comes out of the kind of mental construct we have built upon kind of the baseline life that we are part of. 그러니까 부모가 자녀를 키우는 것은 생명의 현상이기 때문에 그건 어떤 보상을 요구해서는 안 됩니다. So the parents rearing their young, caring for them, since it's part of kind of our life baseline, you should not be entitled. You shouldn't feel entitled to a compensation. 그러나 어, 성인이 된 자녀를 돌보는 것은 부모의 책임이 아닙니다. However, if the child grows up to be an adult, then it's no longer the parent's responsibility to take care of that adult child. 그것은 자신의 선택입니다. And that becomes a matter of choice. 어, 부모를 돌보는 것은 의무라기보다는 선택사항에 들어갑니다. So likewise, the adult child taking care of the old parents is a matter of choice. 어, 이웃을 돌보는 것도 의무가 아니라 선택사항입니다. It's similar to taking care of your neighbor. It's a matter of choice. 병든 사람을 보호하는 것도 선택에 들어가고요. Caring for the sick is also a choice. 어 이것은 사람이 좀 사람 닿기 위해서 우리가 권유하는 겁니다. It's something that we recommend to engage in this type of behavior so we can live as a warm human society. 뭐 그런 일을 하면 우리는 그를 칭찬합니다. So if somebody engages in that choice in that behavior, he, he praises upon them. 그러나 그런 일을 하지 않는다고 비난해서는 안 됩니다. However, just because somebody else has not engaged in those good behaviors doesn't mean they deserve our criticism. 음, 그래서 어, 부모를 부모에 대한 뜻을 받드는 것은 어, 받드는 사람을 우리가 칭찬할 수는 있지만 그걸 받들지 않는다고 비난해서는 안 됩니다. So if an adult child kind of agrees and accepts a parent's recommendation or wishes, you know, we can give them praise. However, just because they don't, we can't criticize them. 음, 그러니까 어, 그 시스터가 어, 하면 좋은 일이죠. 그러나 하지 않는다고 미워하거나 원망하거나 어, 해서는 안될 일이다 고 생각합니다. So going back to your case, you know, it would be good. It would be a good thing for your sister to kind of share the cost and listen and honor the request of your mother. But just because she chooses not to, she should not be criticized. 여기서 누구도 어, 잘못했다고 할 수는 없습니다. So no one's at fault in this scenario. 엄마는 어, 남편을 묘에 묻고 싶다. 그는 엄마의 마음입니다. So the, your mother wants to bury her husband's ashes uh, in, on the earth. That's her request. That's her desire. 어, 엄마는 그런 마음을 자녀들에게 표현할 자유가 있습니다. And she has, she is free to express that request, that desire to her kids. 자녀들은 그것을 동의해서 어, 그렇게 할 수도 있고 동의하지 않아서 그렇게 하지도 않을 자유가 있습니다. But her children likewise has the freedom to listen to her and uh, address her wishes, or her desires, or not. 어, 젊은 자의 형제들은 나무를 심고 벤치를 설치하는 데까지는 동의를 했기 때문에 부담을 기꺼이 진 겁니다. Your siblings share the cost for the tree, mem- uh, memorium tree, as well as the bench because they agreed to do that. 그러나 묘를 쓰는 것에 대해서는 화장을 해서 왜 묘를 쓸까? 그럼 벤치는 못때 만들고 나무는 못때 심었을까? 이렇게 
일을 제기할 수가 있습니다. However, when it comes to burials, you know, they could rightfully ask, you know, why did we cremate our father when we were going to bury him anyways? 어, 그렇기 때문에 나는 거기에 동의를 못 하기 때문에 부담을 하지 않겠다. 이렇게 자기 의견을 낼 수가 있습니다. That is possible for your sister to say since I don't agree with that course of action, I refuse to participate uh, financially. 음, 근데 문제는 질문자가 문제입니다. So the problem comes back to you. 질문자가 어머니가 과한 요구를 했다고 해서 어머니를 미워하거나 동생이 부담을 하지 않겠다고 해서 동생을 미워한다면 그 질문자가 잘못된 생각을 한 겁니다. So if you feel disturbed because your mother made a uh, additional request or you feel disturbed because your sister would not Uh, willingly take on that request and participate, then that becomes your problem. Uh, 형제들에게 얘기했어. 어, 동의하면 그렇게 하면 되고 동의 안 하면 그럼 동의하는 사람만 할 건지 어머니한테 일부가 동의를 하지 않으니까 하지 않겠다고 말하든지 그렇게 얘기하면 됩니다. So you know, talk to your siblings, you know, and if some agree, some don't, and just relate to your mother. 어머니가 그 때문에 슬퍼한다 해도 그것은 여러분들이 책임이 아닙니다. And even if y 이 세상에 우리가 원하는 것이 다 이루어질 수는 없습니다. Because we can't get everything we want in this life. 네. 근데 어머니가 슬퍼하는 것이 어머니 문제가 아니라 그걸 보는 내가 좀 힘든다면 나를 위해서 어, 어머니의 슬픔을 없애기 없애는 것을 내가 선택할 수가 있다는 거예요. But if you feel disturbed, if your peace is disturbed, you're sad because you're looking at your mother being sad, then you can make a choice to mitigate your own sadness. 그 어머니를 위해서 내가 묘를 만든다 이렇게 생각하면 안 됩니다. So that means you can't think that. You want to bury your father's ashes for your mother. 어머니의 슬픔을 보는 내가 힘들기 때문에 묘를 만드는 겁니다. You're creating. You want to bury your father's ashes because you want to mitigate less than your own suffering that you get by looking at the suffering that your mother is going. 그러니까 딸이 어머니에게 연락하지 않는 것은 그 시스터의 자유입니다. And your sister has a right, has a free, if she's free not to contact your mother. 그것을 슬퍼하는 거, 그, 그래서 엄마가 슬퍼하는데, 슬퍼하는 것은 어머니입니다. And your mother has a right, if she's free, to feel sad about it. 묘를 만들겠다고 약간 과한 마음을 낸 과보가 딸이 거절하는 그런 과보를 받은 겁니다. Basically, so your mother is wanting this extra thing, uh, you know, to memorialize her husband, but that action has consequences, and she's reaping the consequences of that action. 만약에 자기가 나중에 어머니 같은 꼴이 입장이 됐다면 딸에게 전화했어. 아, 엄마가 조금 과한 욕심을 냈구나. 그래, 너의 마음도 이해한다. 그러면 내가. 이 계획을 취소할게 이렇게 전화를 하면 금방 해결이 됩니다. If you are in a small situation, you know, uh, many years from now, then if you just pick up your phone and call your own daughter and say, you know what, I might have, uh, you know, exceeded my request or might have overdone it in my desire, and I apologize, and I'll just withdraw that request, and then this problem will be solved. 그런데 자기가 어머니에게 그렇게 하라고 의견은 낼수 있지만 그것을 요구할 수는 없습니다. And you can actually suggest this question to your mother. However, you can't demand it of her. 아니면 자기가 동생에게 전화해서 부담은 안 해도 되니까 어머니한테 연락은 해 주세요. 이렇게 말할 수는 있습니다. But you could also choose to call your sister and say, you know what, you don't have to share the cost, but Please, if you could, you know, reach out to the mom, uh, to our mom, that'd be great. 
이것은 동생을 위해서도 아니고 어머니를 위해서도 아니고 나를 위해서입니다. But all these actions are not for your sister, nor for your mom. It's for me. 왜냐하면 슬퍼하는 어머니를 보는 내 마음이 불편하기 때문입니다. Because it is my mind that's suffering, looking at the sadness uh, that's coming from my mother. 그런데 문제는 이것은 힘든 내 마음을 해결하기 위해서 내가 엄마를 설득하든 동생을 설득한다 이런 관점을 가져야 됩니다. It's a, but however, the most important thing is that you have to realize that you know you are trying to solve your own suffering, engaging whatever actions you want to engage. 음, 근데 엄마를 위해서, 동생을 위해서 내가 역할을 한다 이렇게 생각하면 만약에 내 뜻대로 안 되면 내가 다시 화가 나거나 괴로워집니다. But if you think you're doing this, you know, on behalf of your mother or on behalf of your sister. Then if it doesn't actually work out, then you become angry. Um, 그들은 나의 제안에 동의할 수도 있고 동의 안할 수도 있, 있습니다. Because they can agree with my suggestion or not. 네, 이런 관점에서 한번 바라보시면 어떨까요? So, uh, what about you kind of reframe, uh, you know, the perspective that you're looking at this issue? 이것은 늘 일어날 수 있는 우리의 일상입니다. Because this is something that can happen to any one of us. 즉, 엄마와 딸이 시스다가 의견이 다르다는 거예요. You know the fact that your mother and one of your siblings has a difference in opinion. 그것을 보고 지금 질문자가 괴로워한다는 거예요. As you're looking at that, you're witnessing that difference in opinion, and you're suffering because. 그래서 내가 왜 화가 납니까? 이렇게 물어본 거예요. That's why I asked you in the beginning of this question. Why do you feel angry? Can I say something? <laughs> um, there's just a lot of things um, going through my mind right now. Um, I think the biggest takeaway is that my sister has the freedom to say no. Um, like she has the freedom to say no. And I have told her that she doesn't have to um, contribute. It's already paid for now. And uh, my, my mom doesn't um, blame her. She actually feels bad for her. Uh, not bad for her, she feels for her. And she reached out to my sister and they're going to have, um, they're going to meet up or something like that. And, um, and also another takeaway is that that this should be done for me, not for, not for my sister or for my mom, my grieving mom, not to watch that. Uh, but the conversation, like if I were to call my sister and say, you don't have to in a very uh, kind way. And um, I say, why don't you give a call to mom? I think that would give me a lot of peace. Um, that's not what I expected you would say. I thought you would say something different, but thank you so much. No, put a man in the denda, Negada put a malke. Egon Sister Jang is an on Jagi Tonan and the German, keep on a suck John Yaginania. Even if you call her and say, you know what, you don't have to contribute, I'll take care of it. Well, you know, that does relieve her uh, from contributing financially. Probably doesn't make her feel good. 왜냐하면, 그래, 네만 효자고, 나는 부렸다. 얘 기분이 나빠요. Because your sister will think that, you know, you're the good daughter and I'm the bad daughter now. 그러기 때문에 별로 전하고 싶지가 않는 거예요. No, that's why, you know, she doesn't want to really participate. 음, 또 엄마한테 자기 부담 안한 입장에서 또 전화하기가 미안한 것도 있고. Of course, she also feels guilty and she doesn't want to kind of reach out to your mom when she has expressed her that she does not want to contribute financially. 음, 자기도 좀 부담을 하고 기꺼이 엄마 나좀 냈다 이렇게 자랑하고 싶잖아요. Because she, you know, she also wants that approval, right, from her mother saying that she contributed. 그런데 자기는 지금 그럴 처지가 못 되니까 전화하기가 어렵죠. You know, that's why she feels reluctant to reach out.
음, 그러니까 동생인 경제적 부담을 동생한테 안 시킨다고 동생이 뭐넌 돈도 부담 안 해도 된다 했는데 뭐가 기분 나쁘냐 이렇게만 생각하는 거는 어, 사람의 마음을 충분히 이해하지 못하는 거예요. Right. So just because you know, if you think that your sister will be okay because you're not asking her to pay anymore, then you know you're not really trying to understand uh, how the human mind works. 자기도 어느 정도 경제적으로 여유 있게 사는데 왜 그걸 언니 마 부담하고 자기 부담 안 하면 자기가 조금 나쁜 사람처럼 또는 가족 관계에서 약간 뭔가 제대로 안한것 같은 그런 마음이 들거 아니겠어요? Because if she's well off financially, she's stable, but you know she does not contribute to a kind of a family man, then she feels like an outlier, right? And she feels like as if she didn't do enough. 음, 그러니까 부담 안 해야 된다는 것을 너무 강조할 필요가 없습니다. So there's no need for you to emphasize that she doesn't have to pay. 음. 엄마가 원하는데. 나는 그 엄마를 위해서 이걸 해드렸으면 좋겠다 해서 어, 내가 결정을 했는데 내가 너희들 동의를 얻지 않고 결정해서 미안하다 이렇게 오히려 얘기해 주는 게 좋습니다. You know, maybe approach like this. This is what mom wanted, so you know I wanted to kind of do what she wanted, and I decided to go ahead and kind of support her wishes. Sorry, I didn't reach out to. The rest of you beforehand, before I made that decision. What do you think? What do you think? Well, I did email everybody and said that you're welcome to participate. You don't have to. Oh, that was through an email. Um, and then when we actually met, um, yeah, she got she got angry at me. Um, but I I understand what Sunim is saying. I understand. 어, 제가 있는 이 시골에 노인들이 많습니다. So there are a lot of old people in this rural village that I live in. 음, 대부분 80 넘은 할머니들이 혼자 살아요. Usually it's the, it's the women who are 80 who are living by themselves. 음, 그래서 집안 청소가 잘안 됩니다. That's why they have trouble kind of, you know, cleaning their spaces. 그래서 우리가 자원봉사자를 모집해 가지고 어, 일주일에 또는 2주일에 한 번씩 가서 청소를 해줍니다. So we, you know, ask for volunteers and we go to their uh, dwellings and clean their houses once or twice. Uh, 아, 대부, we, 대부분 좋아합니다. And most of them like it. 그런데 몇몇 집은 음, 거절하고 있습니다. But some households, they refuse our help. 왜 거절을 할까요? Why would they refuse? 자녀들이 반대합니다. Uh, their children refuses on their behalf. 우리가 생각할 때는 자녀가 와서 청소를 해 주든지 자녀가 못 하면 우리가 가서 해 주면 할머니한테는 좋잖아요. You know, from our rational perspective, we think you know if the children can come down and clean their dwellings themselves, then it's great that uh, they have volunteers coming in and doing that. 근데 자녀들 중에 일부는 그렇지 않게 생각합니다. But you know, some children don't think that way. 음, 자기가 와서 청소하는 거는 자기한테 부담이 되고. Because if they have to come down themselves to this rural area, it becomes a burden to them. 음, 다른 사람이 와서 청소하면 기분이 좋지 않습니다. But if somebody else volunteers, strangers come and clean their parents' house on their behalf, then doesn't make them feel good. 어, 자녀도 아닌 사람이 와서 청소해 주는데 자녀이면서 청소도 안해 준다 이런 상황이 되잖아요. Because they feel guilty. The dynamics that they feel is that you know they're their own children and they can't even clean. So you know having a stranger clean their parents' place on their behalf is not something that makes them feel good. 음, 
그건 결국 나쁜 자녀라는 뜻이 됩니다. Because that makes them into bad children. 그게 우리가 옆에서 구경하는 사람 입장에서 이해가 안 되죠. It's very hard to understand the dynamics, the logic from somebody kind of looking at this as a third party. 이게 사람이에요. But this is what we are as human beings. 그래서 그 자녀들이 와서 부모에게 불평을 합니다. So the children come down so they complain to their own parents. 그냥 오랜만에 집에 오면 엄마가 아이고 누가 와서 해줬다 누가 와서 해줬다 누가 와서 해줬다 이렇게 하면 아이고 그 사람들 감사합니다 이렇게 마음을 내는 사람도 있지만 그 말을 들을 때 자기가 뭐좀 나쁜 사람처럼 느껴지는 거예요. So when they actually come down and meet with their parents, visit with their parents, you know the parents naturally because they've seen that for the first time in a long time, you know kind of uh, tell them you know who came and who came to help them out, who came in to clean and what not. You know, some children react very positively and say they're very thankful to those volunteers. But some children, you know, they feel guilty. 그래서 어, 부모가 그런 말을 했다가 자녀가 기분을 안 좋아하니까 눈치를 보고 어, 오지 말라고 하는 거예요. And so some parents, when they see how the children react negatively to this news, you know, they they then tell us not to come anymore. 여러분들 이게 이 심리 이해가 됩니까? Do you understand this dynamic? 잘안 돼요. No. <웃음> 조상 묘서를 비석을 세우고 묘를 좀 예쁘게 가꾸고 싶습니다. Say you want to really clean up your ancestor's tomb, grave area. 그래서 형제들에게 전화해서. <웃음> 묘에 비석도 세우고 잔도 좀 하고 하는데 너가 좀 부담할래 이렇게 얘기했을 때 어떨까요? So then you call up your sibling, say, you know what? So let's clean up our parents' tombs a little, uh, you know, and spruce it up. Uh, can we share the cost? 어, 너가 안 하면 내가 다 부담할게 이렇게 메일을 보냈다 갑시다. I'll say you email them and say, you know what? If you can't. You know, help out with the new tombstones or cleaning the grounds. Then I'll take care of myself. 어떤 가족은 하지 않은데 반대하는 사람이 있습니다. Then some parts of the, you know, somebody in the family probably will pipe up and oppose. 아, 어, 나는 부담 못 하겠다 하면 괜찮은데 왜 비석을 세워? 어, 이렇게 그뭐 때문에 하는데 이렇게 반대합니다. You know, it would be good so if you can't afford it so to share the cost. You just say, you know what? I can't afford to share the cost. But instead of being honest and transparent like that, somebody will pipe up and say, you know what? Why are you doing this? Right? What use is there? Why? Why now? 그럼 자기가 부담하기에는 좀 돈이 좀 자기도 부담하기에는 내기 돈을 내기에는 부담이 되고. 묘에 갈 때마다 자기가 돈을 내지 않았는데 다른 사람이 내서 해놓으면 늘 위축되는 마음을 갖기 때문입니다. And that's you know he opposes because can't afford to share the cost. At the same time, he doesn't share the cost, and you know he ends up he joins the family during all of this or not, and you know pay homage to the ancestor. He always feel guilty, you know, at that place with that family for not having shared the cost. 근데 이제 옆에서 보면 그러죠. 지가 안 내면 되지. 왜 하는 걸 반대하느냐. 부모를 위해서 하는데 이렇게 생각하기 때문에 가족 간에 갈등이 생기는 거예요. Mm, you know, but somebody else might think that you know what? If you don't want to pay, just don't pay. But why do you oppose anybody, everybody else from doing something good for their parents? You know, if you think that way, it creates conflict. 부담을 하는 것만 문제가 아니라. 이거 이일 자체 전부 동의할 때 화합을 위해서는 전부 다 동의할 때 해야 합니다. 돈을 누가 내느냐보다 so 그게 더 중요합니다. It's not, it's not important who pays what. Now, if you want to create and maintain that harmony in the family, it's important to arrive at a consensus first before you know, embarking on a project. 그러니까 어, 동생에 대해서 섭섭해하거나 화가 나는 것은 어, 자신처럼 어, 
이렇게 자기가 마땅히 해야 된다. 어, 너가 반대한다면 돈안 내도 된다. 그런데 뭐가 문제냐? 이렇게 생각하는 데서 지금 이게 화가 나는 거예요. So if you feel angry and sad at your, at your sister, it comes out of your place deep inside you that feels that this should rightfully be done. And if you don't want to pay for it, then that's fine. But we're going to go ahead and do it. You know, it comes from that place. 석 동의가 안 되는 것 같네요. No, I I agree. I am just <웃음> looking at my behavior and my actions, and I don't think it was fair to her. And she must have her own reasons. I don't know what the reason is, and I don't need to know. Um, and I I I didn't really thought that far. Um, I was only looking at. I was short sighted. Going, this is good for the parents. Why can't you part participate? That's where I was, and now I think that it. She she actually does care about the parents. She actually um, do think that parents uh, that she love the parents. Like she actually have a good heart. But how I came across was almost like a dictatorship, and say you gotta do it do it this way, and they just look make her look bad. Um, I, I'm just thinking how she's feeling now. Maybe that's how she feels that I was being uh, too harsh on her. 네, 아, 사람 마음이라는 게 이렇게 <웃음> 다 다르기 때문에 <웃음> 어, 우리가 그런 것을 인정하고 살면 문제가 없고요. 어, 자꾸 아니 자식이 내가 그렇냐 어쩌냐 이렇게 단정적으로 생각하면 내가 화가 나고 내가 힘듭니다. So the human mind is so different from individuals, right? Uh, if we acknowledge that differences, then no, we don't face uh, any problems. However, if we get caught up in our righteousness or ought to or ought to do that or do this, then it creates our own suffering. 네, 이 문제를 갖고 자꾸 해명한다고 자꾸 거론하면 이걸 자꾸 더 이렇게 기억을 나게 하는 거니까 덮어버리고 이렇게 좋게 지내시기 바랍니다. And if you try to kind of bring this stuff to the surface and want to resolve it, then you might actually just amplify it and you know make that hurt go deeper. So better to just let bygones and bygones and move forward. 음, 이건 시간이 지나면 그냥 저절로 해결될 일입니다. Because these things kind of you know resolve of themselves with time. 이런 일이 없었던 것처럼 그냥 연락하고 막 다니면 됩니다. That's great. It's her birthday coming up soon. So I'll call her and wish her happy birthday. Thank you very much. 네.